Hi everybody, it's Mindy. And I know what you're thinking already. Yes, this is August and we're smashing the specials, but what's Mindy doing? <laughs> Mindy is finishing this craftably Christmas painting. One way or another, I'm gonna finish. <laughs> yeah, so I have done some specials, don't worry. I've got three under my belt. And I got a pile of them pulled out ready to go. But when you have one little section left of a painting to do, you know, I'm going to get it finished. And I thought this is just kind of easy to do while I chit chat. So yeah, we're going to work on this for a few minutes. Um, but yeah, smashing the specials is going really well. Um, we do have that hashtag smashing with no G smash in the specials 2021 on Instagram. Please make sure if you are posting to Instagram, you don't put in a G and you make sure you put in 2021. Okay. So otherwise it goes to the old one, which was just smashing the specials <laughs> and you don't want it to go there because then we won't know what you've done and you won't get credit for it. We won't be able to find you. So it is Smashing the Specials 2021, okay? Uh, yes, so there's that. I have done four little projects already. I'm pretty proud of myself, I've done four. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> and like I said, actually I was ready to, you know, take a little break for a minute here and do something different. So I'm gonna work on this this morning and I really don't have, I mean, I got this one little section to do. It's one release paper, you guys, one release paper, and it's mostly color blocking. So we're going to get it finished. Yep. And then, you know, I'll go back to a special drill project. Well, I probably, I honestly, I do this in the mornings when I come in to the office and edit and upload videos. I work on this while I do that. And so that's what I was just doing. So I thought, well, I'll just keep working on it. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But I got to tell you, I was sitting here, I'm editing, uploading, diamond painting, doing whatever. And I got up, left the office, went out in the kitchen to get something to drink. And I'm standing at the kitchen counter and I can see all the way through, you know, to my front window to the living room all the way throughout to the front yard you know because it's all kind of open concept so i look up and i look out towards the window and i'm like there are two big deer right in my front yard they're just out there in the front yard underneath the crab apple tree the apples are ripe the apples are falling in the yard and they're just out there just munching away and so I'm like, well, let me get my camera. I'll bring my camera back into the office because they clearly didn't care that I was sitting right here in front of the window. They didn't care. So I took some video footage. And then when I was getting my camera out to record, I realized that the one, yes, the one is a big old buck. He's a nice buck. He's got himself some nice antlers. And I was like, cool. So I got some footage of them and it's like 10 o'clock in the morning, which is kind of interesting that they're out there at 10 o'clock in the morning. They're usually like dusk, dawn, you know, kind of, but right in the middle of the day it was, all right. Then they wandered off to the pond and I guess the apples made them thirsty. So they needed themselves a drink. So that's pretty cool. I just did that. I thought I'd talk about it. It's kind of fun. Um, Anyhow, I have to go let Mr. Chuckles out. I can hear him out there. He's crowing away and he's like, let me out, let me out, let me out. And I'm not really, um, I'm not too excited to go let him out today. I'm kind of mad at him. Uh, yesterday when I was letting him out, first time in a long time, he kind of decided he was going to challenge me a little bit. You know, I go out there with my little broom just in case. I have my broom. And he decided he was gonna like come at the broom. And I was like, seriously? <laughs> I'm like, all right. So he's flying up at me or at the broom or whatever. And I told, 
I told Dale last night, I was like, so I kind of just, I swept him. <laughs> you know, I didn't hit him. I just like had the broom and I just kind of swooshed him, you know, woof, you know, like, get out of here. And then he stood there and he looked at me. He was like, he thought about it for a second. Like, do I try again? And I was like, then I yelled. I'm like, get out of here. And then he kind of was like, hmm, okay. And he took off. He, he kept his eye on me, though. The weird bird. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Go, go be with your feathered girls. Not me. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to let you out. Go away. <laughs> but, yeah, so I got to go let him out again. And I'm like, mm -mm. Last night, though, I told Dale about it. And when we were putting them all in for the night and stuff, I was out there with him and because we were mixing chicken feed and all kinds of stuff. And I, uh, he said, have you ever just held him, held him down? And I'm like, no, I haven't done that. And he's like, hmm, okay. So he grabs Chuck off the roost and he's holding him and I was petting him. I'm like, listen, mister, listen, <laughs> get your, get your mind straight. I am not here to hurt you. I am not here to bother you. I'm not here to bother your girls. I feed you. I take care of you. Get it together, right? So then Dale says, okay, well, here, this is what we're going to do. He puts him on the floor and he said, all right, here, you're going to hold him. Just come here, come behind him and just hold him, hold him down and kind of just put his head on the floor and just put his head on the floor and hold him there. I'm like, okay, all right. So I'm sitting there, I'm holding him on the, on the floor, holding him down, holding his head down. And he's like, mm. you know, they have to be very submissive at that point. <laughs> and he's just kind of laying there like, hmm, you know, and then I'm like, now listen, I'm, I'm talking to him. Listen, you know, don't be doing that. <laughs> and when I was done, we had our, our few moments there and I picked him up and I was holding him and then I was petting him and I was like, see, I am a good person. I like you, you know, just get it together. And so then Dale took him from me and put him back up on his roost. But so now I got to go out and let him out today and see if he has a different attitude today. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he will. Maybe he won't. Maybe he'll remember yesterday in the broom. <laughs> he'll see the broom and be like, mm. I didn't hit him. I really just swooped him. I, I swept him up. That's what I did. <laughs> we'll see. Anyhow, dumb bird. Um, there's that. So there's my animal life for the day. And then, of course, we have the these owls out back. And when you're out, in the evening, it can be a little like creepy kind of. They make all kinds of noise. I mean, these aren't the owls that just go, ooh, ooh, ooh. no, they're not them. No, <laughs> no, they make all kinds of like screechy sounds and weird noises. And it's just, yeah, like I said, whoever said it's quiet out in the country, they, they lied. They, they totally lied to you. It's not quiet at all all kinds of racket so we've got blackberries oh my gosh I was going for a walk the other day and I walked over by the blackberry patch and I looked and I was like oh I knew they were getting ripe um we had some nice big old red looking berries on it the last time I was over there but um when I went just like two days ago I was like oh oh look 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 at all these nice black they're nice, big, fat, black, plump, plump berries. <laughs> plump. <laughs> and, oh, my gosh. Okay, so, you know, they're out there, you know, fresh off the vine. They're in the sun. It was warm. It was like a warm berry. Very super juicy. And I stuck it in my mouth, you know, and I was like, ooh, it's really sweet. But it was like really weird because it was like warm. Sorry, I kicked the tripod. Warm, warm juice. It was interesting. <laughs> so I'm going to wait a couple days for a few more to ripen up. And then I'll go out and pick a nice little crop. 
bring them in, you know, and refrigerate them so they get chilled. But nothing like a nice, fresh berry, you know. And they're, I mean, they're literally huge. They're, they're really big, really good. Nice, yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. But they're good, 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 good. And there's a bunch of them out there getting ready to ripen, you guys, a bunch. So there's that. Yay. Um, today, after I do my whipping chat, I'm going to go to my mom's house. My mom has asked if I'll just come help her do some things. And I'm like, sure, I'll come help. So I'm going to do that um, just for a few hours. But... She has an appointment, I think, at four or something. So I'm going to go for a few hours and help her do some things. And um, we were there the other day, and we helped them, like, straighten up trees. You know, they got some younger trees that are kind of growing crooked. You know, they got the, uh, the wire kind of thing on them, you know, and a stake trying to keep them nice and straight. So Dale helped do that. My mom and I wandered around and talked about things and looked at her trees and looked at plants. And I straightened up a little tree. They were straightening up some of the bigger ones that took a little bit more work. But I helped her with the little one and pulled a few weeds. And anyhow, there's that. It's been beautiful here. I mean, the weather has just been fantastic. Uh, it's been about 70 degrees. That's my perfect weather <laughs> and very low humidity, nice sunshiny days. It's just been gorgeous. Now, um, those are hooked together, so they're not working right here. All right, come in. Um, but it's going to warm up again. Um, that's in the forecast for warmer weather to come back, but for now, I'm just enjoying it. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. Every day is just beautiful. So, and we're going to get some rain again, but you know, you take what you can when you get it, you know? It's just been lovely. Um, yeah, vacation. Okay, so uh, plans have changed. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get Lemberg. Uh, like we thought for the week. Um, our guest, Dale's daughter, um, wasn't able to get that week off. So they, she can't go. So there's clearly no point in us going. We had two rooms reserved, which uses up like two weeks of our timeshare time. That's how it works. A week is a room, okay? So we have several weeks because we didn't use any due to, you know, COVID. But um, we're not going to go take two weeks. So Dale canceled the reservation. And then we could have just rebooked it for just one room just for us. But he looked at me and he said, well, if we don't have to go the second week of August, Let's not go the second week of August. And I said, I agree. <laughs> you know, we were only going the second week of August because we thought she had that week off. And it's hot. I mean, you know, there's no getting around it. It's hot that time of year. Um, and so we were like, mm, no, let's not do that. Okay. Um, so he still has the week off and we are still going to do a little vacation but we're going to do an in our state vacation kind of thing. Um, we're going to go see some more lighthouses and be gone a few days. And we'll go like during the week, you know, when it's less busy and things like that. So that's our plan. Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, we're kind of open, you know, free to do what we want to do. But. We're going to just do that instead right now. Now, we will still plan a trip down to Gatlinburg. Um, not sure when. <clears throat> it gets a little tricky. Sorry, there goes my voice. Might have to go get something to drink. Hang on. 
<coughs> sorry. Um, we it it gets tricky if we're talking about taking her because you know in August school starts. This was really like the one time that she could go, her and the kids and whatnot. After this, school starts, and so that's, that's a no-go, right? So I don't know what we're going to do. Dale and I might just go later in the year. I've said, we've never been, like, in the fall. You know, like, early fall when the air gets just a little crisper, but it's still really nice, you know? So I'm trying to kind of talk him into doing that. Just take our one week and go in the fall, which I think would be quite enjoyable. Save the other two weeks that we have until like next year or something, either early summer, which would be perfect, you know, like when her kids get out of school, stuff like that, just go early summer would be a great time to go. But we'll see. We will see what happens. For now, all I know is that we're going to do some Michigan traveling. That's what I know. Um, so I think I'll still be here for my lives, both Saturdays. I am not going to do the book discussion next week because we will be somewhere in Michigan doing something. So I'm not going to do it this, this coming up Tuesday, next Tuesday. But anyhow, um, if you have not paid attention or followed along to know what we're doing in the book club or missed it, we are doing A Court of Mist and Fury now. I think that's the name of the next one. Yeah, A Court of Mist and Fury. It's the second one in the series, and we've just started. Now, if you want to join us, please join us. However, you probably really needed to read A Court of Thorns and Roses first to get a gist of what's going on. I mean, you could try just jumping in with book number two, but they really do build on each other. It is a series. Um, I think there was a couple people said they were going to try to read the first one and get caught up and join us for the second one because it is really, really a good series. Um, totally fantasy, you know, fairies and all that stuff, but, um, it's really good. So anyhow, there's that. Um, after the, after the court of mist and fury, I think we're going to veer away from this series and not do the whole series together. I have a plan for the next book and I'll start talking about it pretty soon. If I haven't already, <laughs> you may have heard me talk about it already, but you know, my channel, sorry guys, it's my channel. It was my idea to do the book discussion thing and there's a book I want to do and I'm just going to do it. All right. I'm just going to do it. Um, it's a Nicholas Sparks. Yep. Uh, used to be every fall, like September, he would come out with a new book. Well, it's fall, it's September, there's a new book. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's my plan for after we finish this one. So just plan on it. It's not even out yet. So we got, you know, we got some time. <laughs> but there you go. Um, you plan ahead. <laughs> plan ahead. All right. Uh, let's see. Christmas in July was a success. I'm happy to report that was a success. Uh, Maritza and I went live last Saturday to give away the prizes. And as always, that's just hilarious. Whenever Maritza and I are together, you just don't know what's going to happen. But <laughs> it was fun. We had a great time. And we drew names for our prizes. We've heard from all of our winners, I think. I think all of our prizes have been given away or they're in the process of being shipped and whatnot and I have to do a gift card still that's what I have to do I keep forgetting I got to do that today 
I've got to get that gift card sent. So I'll try to do that before I go to my mom's house. Remember, Mindy, remember, remember. Gift card, gift card, gift card. <laughs> um, but that was fun. And so I'm really wanting to finish my Christmas in July painting. I mean, look, look it, look it, look. I mean, I'm getting a bunch done, see? I got to get it done. All right. Um, as we all know, Maritza, you know, she worked on bunny, not bunny, no. She worked on puppy craze petunia. And she finished that up. She didn't get much Christmas painting done, but her petunia looks gorgeous. <laughs> I have mine started. Um, after I finish this, I'll probably bring it up here. Well, not up here. It's in the office room, whatever that place is over there, that messy room over there. It's in there. I started it and I'll probably put it on the table here so that I can work on it. You know, like I've been doing this one, you know, in the mornings when I'm making videos and when I don't feel like working on a rhinestone project, I'll have that and I can work on it. Maybe I'll get mine done. I have a little bit of it done. I have the bottom done. I think I have the purse done. A couple flowers. Yeah. So I'll be able to keep working on it. It's so cute. So, so cute. Um, just a reminder that, you know, if you like the cute little Sheena Pike girls, Craftably has two more on pre-order. They do have a limited supply of those coming. So they can sell out. I don't know if they're sold out yet, but they can sell out. It's not like the last pre-order where, you know, they really, they hadn't even placed the order yet. So as you guys were pre-ordering, they could just amend how many they were going to order based on the pre-orders. This is a little different. They've ordered a set number. I believe it's like 200 of each in rounds and squares, I believe, or a hundred, I don't know. 100 in squares, 200 in rounds, maybe. I don't know. Something like that. But, you know, for this round, anyhow, there is a set number coming. Now, they can pre-order or reorder them for sure. But, you know, that will be down the road a little bit further. They do have a few reordered items coming in as well that they are sold out of or are about to sell out of or getting close to running out of. They've done some reorders. They have a couple of refigured paintings, like with the new 4.0 and the new charting coming. Those are on pre-order. Just check them out. Go check them out. If you have not purchased from Craftably, you really should because you'll just be amazed at how great these kits are right? And don't forget, Mindy15, Mindy15, that's my code, save you some money. So yeah, there's that. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm saving, smashing the specials till the end. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to talk about that last. <laughs> Talking about it last. Um, Chuck Along, Chuck Along 4. Oh my gosh, that's the next event. I suppose I should start maybe talking about a kit up and all the details kind of video right here pretty soon. So everybody knows, but it's coming. It's coming. Do you know what you're going to do? Okay. Diamond Art Club has been smart, right? They've been smart. They have been coming out with a ton of Chuck Pinsons, like one a week for the last, I don't know. Five weeks or so, maybe? I think there's been five new ones, if I count correctly. Yeah. So get your Chuck Pinson. Get your Chuck Pinson. Um, Maritza and I haven't even truly decided at this point if it's going to be all DAC or wherever, you know, you can get a licensed Chuck Pinson. We haven't really talked about it. In the past, it's been Diamond Art Club because they sponsored us. Well, I don't know if they're sponsoring us. Honestly, I haven't asked. So there's that. But um, I don't know. We have some donated kits this time. Her and I just need to talk. I'll let you know. I'll let you know what we decide, okay? But anyhow, there's that. 
I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I did message Chuck the other day and I said, country roads, I just unboxed country roads and I let him know how beautiful it was. But then I also let him know how surprised I was to see last week's release. And I don't remember the name of it. It's that manor house that that was a commissioned piece that he'd worked on. And he showed it in our last live interview. And he talked about how he used the small paintings as, you know, a plan for the large painting. And he'd paint the little ones first and he'd change things and show it to the customer and see, do you want the house here? Do you want the horses here? Do you like this carriage? All that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. And so I, I shared that I was really surprised that that one had come out and he said, Oh, you know what? He said, I wasn't, I wasn't even certain it was coming out, but it's like, it, yeah, here it is. They did it. And he's like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm interested to see how that turned out. I, of course I ordered that. I have them all still all well, not not physically in my hands yet, but <laughs> ordered. I'll put it that way. Anyhow. So just get ready. Get ready for the chuck along. Okay. All right. I hear my dog out here. My dog is tiptoeing around out there in the living room. I can hear her little toenails. Click, 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 click on the floor out there. <laughs> click, 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 click. So uh, yesterday, whew, yesterday, I had an appointment to get new tires. All right. Everything is kind of weird now. You know, you have to make an appointment at the tire place to go in to talk, which we did that on the weekend, made an appointment to go in on Saturday. <laughs> Here I am Saturday, <laughs> Saturday. I'm in the car. Okay. I was thinking I wasn't buying anything at Diamond Art Club on Saturday. So I made the appointment for noon, not even thinking about it. But here we are. We're at Culver's trying to eat some lunch. My appointment at the tire place is at noon. And now I find myself in the position of having to be on Diamond Art Club site to buy a painting at noon. <laughs> I'm in the car. I got this messy grilled chicken sandwich in my lap trying to eat real fast so that we can get over to the tire place. Thankfully, Dale's driving and I'm trying to purchase my painting all at the same time. Yeah, that was fun. Um, I got it all done. <laughs> we are a few minutes late to the appointment, but it, I've learned that doesn't really matter. That's just a, a suggestion, actually, really, because then after I bought the tires, Oh my gosh, you guys, tires. I've never, well, I have not bought tires in years because I lease my vehicles for so many years and my tires would never wear out during the life of the lease, right? So this is the first time I have bought tires in, I, I can't even tell you how long, but I was shocked. I mean, I was shocked. I mean, these were just a, an average tire, nothing special, fancy, not the cheapest, not the best, just average, right? A thousand dollars. I was like, what? <laughs> what? And that was with a rebate. And oh my gosh, I'm like, okay, that's crazy, right? That's crazy. Yeah. So I made an appointment. They didn't have my tires in stock. They had to come from another city. And so we made an appointment to get the tires on the car Monday, Monday. Okay. Appointment. It's at 4.30. Okay. Show up at 4.30. And then they check you in from your car and tell you to just go park. And somebody will come out and they'll get your, get your keys and make sure they know what work they're doing and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Then I get a text from this little app and it says, you can check your spot in line. Okay. Uh, Okay. I checked my spot in line and it said I had a one minute wait. All right. I'm like, okay, well, I'll be right out, which is what happened on Saturday. That's, that's how it went on Saturday. All right. So I'm waiting and waiting and Dale's there. Cause you know, he's going to 
we're going to go someplace rather than just have me sit there. So we're waiting and waiting and waiting. And I'm like, what is going on? It said one minute. And I'm like, I get on the app again. Now it says, oh, you are fourth in line. It will be about 15 minutes. And I'm like, what? <sighs> okay. So I close up my car. Dale's parked beside me. I hop in the truck and I'm just, we just sit there and talk for a little while, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes or so. And then somebody finally comes out to get my keys. I'm like, okay, here you go. Yep. You got, you know what you're doing. Perfect. Great. Okay. So we're in this little area that's all kinds of shopping and stuff. There's a Walmart, there's, you know, Michael's is there. I'm like, okay, I need to go to Michael's. He needed to go to the feed store. Okay, perfect. Let's do that. All right. We get that done and we go back by the tire place and my car's still sitting in the same spot. Okay. I'm like, okay, well, there's Dollar Tree. I need to go into the Dollar Tree. Go into the Dollar Tree. He stayed in the truck. I go into Dollar Tree. <laughs> this Dollar Tree, I, you people that find all this stuff at Dollar Tree, all this cute, nice stuff at the Dollar Trees, that you're lucky. That's all I got. Our Dollar Trees just aren't like that. I mean, there wasn't any of that cute stuff there. There's hardly anything there at all. Lots of holes and lots of just nothing there. Anyhow, just saying. <laughs> Every time I see a Dollar Tree and you got all this nifty stuff, I go to my Dollar Tree and I'm like, hmm, okay, nope, not here. <laughs> not here. All right, so I get done at the Dollar Tree, come back out to the truck, and I'm like, my car hasn't moved still. It still hasn't moved. All right. Okay. So then, um, finally, it is, we go to Walmart. We go to Walmart next. That's what we do. Yeah. And come out from Walmart, and my car has finally, finally been taken into one of the bays. An hour and a half. <laughs> it's six o'clock. I'm like, okay, it's six o'clock. An hour and a half for them to get to my car. Just to get it in to one of the bays. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how long is it going to take now, Dale? And he goes, oh, probably a half an hour. I'm like, good Lord, really? Okay. So we were in no rush. We just tinkered around a little bit and then we ended up driving back over there and just sitting and waiting and sitting and waiting over two hours, over two hours to get my tires. Like I said, their times, their reservation times, clearly suggestions, <laughs> just a suggestion. <laughs> oh boy. So I got new tires on my car. Do I notice a difference? Yep, I do. I mean, I I'm not a tire person, right? I just I don't know about I don't know about those things. Dale kept saying it needed tires. And so when we did go on Saturday and I asked the guy who looked at him, I said, Do I really need tires? And he's like, Oh yeah, you need tires. And he was telling me about the measurements and all that. And he's like, Yeah, we consider three worn out. Two of your tires are three. I'm like, oh. Okay. All right then. <laughs> but Dale was hearing a noise and feeling a wobble when he would drive it. And I guess, I guess I, I know what he's talking about now because when I drove it home, I was like, oh yeah, okay. I guess I noticed a difference. I did notice a difference. So I know fresh new tires. Hopefully they last, you know, until I might want to get rid of this car, I guess, but there's that. That was my fun adventure last night. <laughs> Nothing like spending two hours just, you know, messing around, doing some crazy shopping stuff, just finding things to occupy your time while they put tires on your car. <laughs> all right. Hey, I think that's all the nines. Let me give it another look-see real quick. <laughs> Yeah, I think I got all the nines. See, that's what I'm saying. This is going fast. This section will be done like really quick because it's like all color blocking. Really. I mean, there's a little bit of 
the tree branches over here still. But most of it's color blocking. All right. <clears throat> um, have you had to buy tires lately? <laughs> it's not fun. Don't do it. I, I suggest not doing it. It's not good. <laughs> Oh, I can find a lot of different things to spend that kind of money on that would be much more fun than tires. Right? I really did like leasing my vehicles, but it was much cheaper to buy this one. Um, and when I was planning retirement and retiring, oh, I don't need you. You don't belong there. Um, I thought I needed to just find ways to save money and that would be an easy one, buy the car instead of leasing a car. It's much cheaper. Now, you know, now that I am retired and I see how everything's going, bill-wise and whatnot, I wish I would have just leased again. I really do. Because I don't have to worry about the maintenance of the vehicle or anything like that or buy tires or... And sure, it was like... I think it was like $80 a month difference. I think at this point, I don't know. Maybe that $80 would have been money well spent, you know, but it is what it is now. It's done deal now, it's mine. So maybe I'll go back to leasing at some point. I don't know. It's nice to get a nice fresh new car every, you know, three years or whatnot. I mean, that was, the length I did my leases for was three years, but we'll see. We shall see. Anyhow, there's that. Okay. Um, I think that's the mailman going by. Well, that'd, be a bit, that'd be a bit early, but well, sometimes he's early. I have a package. Oh my gosh. I have a package that's, uh, I don't know. It's settled. It's settled in Detroit. <laughs> it's decided it likes Detroit and it's just going to hang out in Detroit for a while. So I, I'm still every day going, is it here yet? Is it here yet? Did Detroit let it go? Has it been released? And every day I'm like, no, it's still not here. It, you're an hour and a half away from me in Detroit. What, what are you doing with my stuff in Detroit? Come on. You know, I feel like we're back at the height of the pandemic when the post office in Detroit, which is where a lot of our stuff comes through, they were just so swamped that they couldn't get packages out. And they would send our packages to a completely different state to be processed. And so shipping was horrendous. I kind of feel like we're back there again a little bit. It's not the first time I've had something stuck in Detroit lately. Come on, Detroit. <laughs> get it together. I don't know what's going on down there, but get it together. Anyhow, someday, someday I'll see it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, look, it'll be like the best surprise ever. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Anyhow, there's that. Um, I had another package that was outgoing. I mailed it from my local post office the end of May. It was for the uh, lupus auction. Now, mind you, it's going to Australia. But still, I sent it off from our local post office here. And it was headed to Chicago. Apparently, it never hit Chicago for a month. Or almost six weeks. Then it hit Chicago. I was like, where have you been? Where have you been all this time? No idea. It actually only stayed in Chicago a couple days before it went on its merry way. So hopefully it's on its way to Australia now. But I just, sometimes I'm like, I don't know what, what happens. I don't know what happens. I've been hearing several people have problems besides me because I've had two Diamond Art Club boxes come that look like they were just trounced on by something large, <laughs> you know? 
box is completely smushed. I had one came the other day. It was wide open. My box was wide open, you guys, at the end. I was like, oh, they come with a handle now? Because <laughs> that's what it looked like. It looked like you could stick your hand right in there underneath the, the top of the box and just pick it up that way. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Had another one of the white bags that came completely open. I'm like, what are you people doing at the postal service? What are you doing? Come on. <laughs> I don't know. Crazy stuff, guys. Crazy stuff. All right. Uh, smashing the specials. I think it is the mailman. Yep. Well, we'll see what we'll see what I get today. Anything from Detroit? <laughs> um, so smashing the specials. Uh, Brandy and I both did a video. We gave you some good examples. What you know we mean by specials? You know anything with rhinestones and special shaped stones and things like that. Uh, and then you post your pictures to Instagram, and we will be pulling prize winners from Instagram. Uh, weekly prizes, a final prize. Yeah, I'll let you know more. <laughs> I, I, that's not, that sounds so lame. Why am I saying that? Here we are. It's August. Brandy and I talked about it briefly. Now, you got to remember, Brandy's back at school. Brandy had to go back to school this week. Yes. Um, and we were talking about some, like, little prizes along the way before we get to the end, to a bigger prize. And we didn't get very far in our conversation, I hate to say, I think. We didn't really make much headway or decision or anything. I think I'm just going to, like, give some prizes away. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but not today because I don't have anything ready today. So probably next week I'll have my, as I say, my poop in a pile and I'll have an idea what I'm going to do and probably announce a little giveaway next week. Okay. You with me? I'm bored with that. I'm bored. I'm bored. Are we all on board? Okay. So there's that. Um, yeah. So post your pictures to Instagram. Remember, it is smash in the specials 2021. Now, what do we want you to post? Please, please do not post start photos. We don't need start photos, okay? This is about finishing things, about getting things done. So what we're asking you to post on Instagram are finished projects. Finished. One photo per finished project, please. So if you finish something, like I just finished the owl hanging thingy, I posted a picture. I posted a picture of a mask. Finished. So please make sure that your projects are finished when you post them to Instagram. Um, only finishes are counting in the grand scheme of things. Okay, the grand scheme of things, just finishes. All right, so please keep that in mind when you're posting to Instagram. Finishes only, all right? Um, and then we will have a grand prize at the end. I really need to talk with her maybe today because we do book club. I'll have some time to really like hammer this out, you know, iron, iron down the facts. That makes sense. Iron down the facts. Iron out the details. That's it. Iron out the details. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> All right. I, I, for some reason, I, I think it's just totally like probably on my part, like event burnout, I think, you know, where I'm like, I know I've got these events coming. I haven't really planned them very well in advance and then trying to throw it together last minute. That's what it is. I know that's what it is. I apologize. But just know, there will be prizes. Just just keep posting your pictures. That's all you got to do. Watch videos. Watch our whipping chats. It might come from a whipping chat. I don't know. 
the prize, I mean, you know, the winner. <laughs> just, just diamond paint. Just diamond paint, join along, get some special drill projects done, post them on Instagram, watch videos, and, you know, the rest will take care of itself. The rest will just be fine. <laughs> says the girl who doesn't really have it together yet. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> no, it'll be okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Um, what else do I have to say? Do I have anything else to say? Not really. Not really. I think I'm going to go let Mr. Krabby Pants out. See if he decides to try and attack me today or come at the broom or whatever he thinks he's big enough to do. Um, and go to the mailbox and see if I have any pleasant surprises in my mailbox today. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to my mom's house. So there's that. Need to get lunch. Hey, you know, I tell you guys all the time that Dale makes me lunch every day. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't. He didn't make me lunch yesterday, right? I went to the refrigerator expecting my ham and turkey sandwich in the refrigerator. And I was like... Um, where's my sandwich? There wasn't a sandwich. He didn't make me a sandwich yesterday. <laughs> and then he did tell me today, though, that today is Taco Tuesday, and him and one of the guys that he works with, it, they're going to this little taco place for Taco Tuesday. And I was like, uh, okay. So, you know, Tuesday is normally peanut butter and jelly day here, you know. So I guess he's giving up peanut butter and jelly day for tacos, for Taco Tuesday. Oh, my life. My my rough life here, right? No peanut butter and jelly sandwich waiting for me today. I know that. <laughs> but yesterday? Not, what, what was up with yesterday? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I have to talk to him. Where was my sandwich? <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. I'm going to let you go. And um, I'm going to figure out what I am doing for lunch today and then go to my mom's house for a little while. So there's that. Okay. Thanks for watching everybody. And like I said, just work on special projects, put your finishes on Instagram and we'll get with you about the prizes. How's that sound? Sounds good. I hope so. Okay. I'm going to go. I will talk to you all later. Hope you have a great day. All right. Bye everybody. Surprise. Brandy and I decided that we were going to do weekly giveaways. <laughs> so I went and gathered up some stuff. All right. So um, you're going to comment on this video. Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to win this package of stuff. All right. There's just a bunch of goodies here. I'm not going to go over everything. So it'll be kind of a surprise. But here's some good stuff here. Okay. You got this cool little pen that lights up plugs in a tray here a wax pencil so that you can do your special drills just some fun little things okay so I'm not going over all of it piece by piece and there's some surprises so there's that and I'm going to throw in a couple of special drill diamond paintings of course right so you get this pretty um, mandala it's upside down doesn't matter not really pretty pretty gems to go with that and then I thought I would throw this in She's a special drill lady, one of the long ones, and it comes with the wooden dowels to hang around. All right, so there's a little prize package. We'll be doing weekly giveaways in our whipping chats. All right, just a few things, right? I've gone through my paintings and I've pulled out some special drills for you, okay? So comment below. Just comment. That's all. Just comment. And I'll pull a winner next week, okay? And then there will be a grand prize at the end. And that's where we're going to look at all of your entries on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you can always email us your picture and we'll put it on Instagram for you. That's not a big deal. Okay. Um, but we're going to keep track of all of the entries. So if you do five, six, seven projects, you've got six, seven entries. If you do one, you get one entry. See how that works? So at the end of the month, we'll be doing two grand prizes. Brandy will do one. I'll do one. Okay? I'll let you know about those a little bit later. All right. So comment on this video for a chance to win a prize package. All right? Okay. Now this is truly the end. Talk to you later. Bye.